Welcome to Roxy's Journal of Stitchery, Volume 2, and my, I think, page design. I'm not sure um, about this bit in the middle, but I think the colours are just perfect. I've, as usual, I am squashed into a little tiny bit <laughs> of, of my desk because I have my little furry visitor here. It's too hot for her outside, so she's come in here where it's nice and cool. But obviously, she's taken up, like, all the room. So, I'm hoping that you'll still be able to see. Now, my plan is to simply do a running stitch and just keep all this down. So, I may not film all of my... Um, running stitch bit because you know that's that's not going to be too exciting but I just wanted to sort of come on in little bits and and sort of share my my progress now I've got a fold in this and I'm going to embrace the fold so we are we are leaving it in I'm not going to try and flatten it out no, I'm probably going to add some more bits and pieces to this. This is just my first sort of layer. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know I'm touching your ears, but you are lying right in the way. <laughs> She's like, excuse me, trying to sleep here. Um, so what we're going to do is just go backwards and forwards across. My page. I may change and go different direction, but at the moment I'm going this way. I may, when I get, I may put this on first, and then when I get down here, I may just go round, round the shapes, or embroider them in. Right. Hopefully, this is going to stay flat. quite tricky this first bit when you're trying to get everything down but you know perseverance and a little helper Oops, nearly got two layers don't really need that I've got three um, threads of embroidery thread <laughs> three threads of embroidery thread yeah, no, I don't know what the proper term is. Uh, strands. Strands, it may be. Three strands. And I tend to use that quite a lot. And as you can see, all I'm doing is going backwards and forwards. So what I'll do is I'll finish this off because it is quite awkward with um, this one here. And I will pop back when I'm sort of maybe when I'm down to this bit, when I've decided what I'm going to do. Okay, I am up to, I've stitched across there, all that down. And I've threaded some of this, I think it's darning wool. And I'm going to practice my blanket stitch again. Oh, it's just the getting started. Right. So I'm thinking, I oh know, somehow... I think once I've got the first stitch in, I might be all right. It's always this first one, isn't it? And I think, um, is that right now? <laughs> You're all screaming at me. No! I think if I go up there, and that catches that one there. Ah, that's it. I did get it right. Just the first one always looks a bit weird. So I'm going to do this all the way round with this with this wool. I'm still practicing stitches, to be honest. I'm hoping I'm getting this. Some of it's it frays really easily. This stuff. I've got like. I haven't got much left, actually. It's this. It's like a sample. 
and it's it's all like wool on the back but as soon as you cut it it starts coming apart right that's gonna have to be a very weird stitch there might come down a bit i'm very awkward i know i'm not elegant doing this <laughs> but you know we get there in the end don't we all you people who think I can't stitch, mm, that's what I thought. And you know what? It doesn't matter if it's not perfect. Because it's yours and you've done it. So, you know, have a go. It's a bit of cotton and fabric. I'm pretty sure... That we've all got a bit of odd fabric and a bit of odd wool or thank or a tail maybe maybe you could do it with a tail sit over there <laughs> she won't leave me alone because i got back from my little trip away um yesterday and she's virtually not left my side but i wanted i was trying to get this video done today so i could get it up on thursday because I I was took all my sewing with me and and I didn't get a chance to do it because we were so busy doing sort of just loads of stuff. Loads of stuff. And um it was so hot that everything took like twice as long. You know, just going to fetch the water for the caravan. You know, fill up the water containers. That was like a mammoth effort. Because it was so warm. It was like, need another shower. When, it, when you've gone back, because it, in the heat, it's... I don't know how you people cope with it all the time. But then, I guess you've got air con. See, we don't have air conditioning in the UK because it's never this hot. <laughs> it's, it's, um, yeah, it's very strange. We're just not used to it. We're just not used to it. It's a very odd, um, so I'm just trying to make sure it's flat. As you can see, it's going quite well. Yeah, it's um, it's a very strange sort of time at the moment. Although saying that, I think it is a bit, it's a bit cloudier today. So, but it's still quite warm. That's what you wanted. That's what you came on here for, isn't it? A weather forecast. I'm sorry. I won't. I won't waffle. I won't waffle. I'm just going to go all the way around this. Now, where's the edge? Because I don't want this to fray. I might come right in. Oops. Keep that underneath. I'm surprised I remembered this stitch. Usually when I try and do it, I just can't get it right. I think if I pick that up, it might work. Yeah, cycling was so hot. We sort of cycle we, we were gonna go on on a sort of I think we planned um, a 25 mile route um, and we got to the first pub <laughs> along the way which was about six miles and stopped for a point and then we decided that it was way too hot and we just made our way back to the campsite because it was just the thought of going it's not so much the cycling, but we were onto the main road by then. And we knew we had like, you know, a few miles of main road. And and it was quite busy, you know, because everybody was coming down to the coast. And it was like, mm, really don't want to sit, cycle, sit, sit on my bike, I suppose. Um, cycle in this heat and with the cars, because people don't pay attention they don't expect there to be a bike on 
the roads and although the rules have changed and they have to give what you know give you a bit more room sometimes they don't and it's quite scary so we went back the way we came which was sort of through the forest on the gravel tracks which is lovely because you can sort of you know there's no cars just the odd walker and the odd dog <laughs> which is fine we we don't mind we slow down for the doggies we didn't meet many people right yeah i was thinking of putting this on as well in fact i might take that off for a minute just because i might accidentally stitch it down and I am going to have to re-thread. I'm almost all the way round. I thought I'd pop in and show you. I'm not doing a blanket stitch on this edge. I'm just doing whatever this stitch is called. <laughs> I can't remember. Um, just an over sort of stitch. So that it doesn't, the edges don't fray too much. Now, I don't mind a bit of fraying, but I don't want it coming apart. So I'm just going over and back just to keep it down. I'm trying to keep these relatively straight so that they sort of look the same as my blanket stitch. Not a completely different stitch. I can take that pin out. So we're getting there slowly but surely. Just this one and then I'll plan what I'm going to do with the um with the gap and I'm just going to tie a knot in the very end okay right where should we start let's let's go for it let's start let's start here right so let's do excuse me tail let's do a big knot now this may not work because I've got a massive great big needle. <laughs> it's it's the hugest needle. It's the one I use for doing the signatures in my book. But I thought it might just do the trick and hold these down. Right, let's do another one. There. Yeah, I know. Bonkers. But you know what? You've got to experiment. I'm very tangled up. Right, let's just do that. And I should have left a longer thing. I reckon I'll just do that and it'll it should stay on. I don't want to make it like bumpy bumpy. I'll do it different this time. I'm gonna tie them together. Um there's one there. Now take that pin out. This is right on the edge. So I'm going to leave a tail, do a knot, just a little French knot, go back down. And then I'm going to tie them because that makes it really bulky doing it like that with the wool. It's fine if you've only got embroidery threads, I think. Okay. That's holding that. Now I've got a loop. I've got a loop here. Look. So what are we going to do? I could just stitch that. Right. I've decided what I'm doing. So Jovi sent me this um, little selection of walls, which is really what inspired this whole thing. So I'm thinking about maybe couching some of this. And I can hide that bump as well then. So what I need to do is just make, maybe get a few together. I don't know. I don't know how this works. I could do with some thicker stuff, but I haven't got any. So I'm thinking to do that. something like that maybe i'll cut them not bend them could 
plait them together or twist them. That might work. Oh, I've got another little bit there. What do you think? I just need to put something underneath that end because it's, I'm going to see the white and I don't want to see the white bit. So what have I got about that? Let's just cut a piece of this off. Oi, stop scratching. You haven't got fleas. Stop it. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop that on. And then, right, can you sit down? So what I thought is I've got some of the wool and I'm going to try and attach this. Now, somebody will tell me you should do it one at a time now. But you know what? I'm going to start at the top here because it's going to be very tricky doing this at the bottom. Oh my goodness me, this needle is a bit big, I think. I think I may, I may have to change needles. And what I might do is, <laughs> it may or may not work. So this could be a lesson in what not to do, but you know what? You've got to experiment. You've got to have a bit of a play. And I'm just, I'm, I'm not going straight across because that would look just weird for a tree. But I just want to catch all of my sort of, all of my trunk. Um, I've got a bit caught there. I don't really want to do that. Now, this is quite fun. I'm quite enjoying this, this little experiment here. And we're going to go up. Maybe should have done this in, in embroidery thread, but you know what? I think it will be worth the um, the effort. <laughs> Snowbird's having a wash, obviously, right where I need to be. Let's go down. Oh, I went across a bit there, which I probably shouldn't have done. I need to sort of keep it on a on a down. Yeah, I, I could tr probably try a thinner needle if I could get it threaded. I've got a lump there now. Don't don't give me another lump. <laughs> I should have basted it down, you know. Should have should have coulda. But I didn't. And you know what? Not first. By the time I've finished embroidering it all, it's going to be fine. Oh, and by the way, I haven't got a deer yet, so we're still we're still going. We're still looking for a deer. So that's going to be uh, another another little hunt around the craft room because I have no idea what I've got. Okay, so as you can see, it's some coming up all knotted, which is just adorable. I'm quite loving it. This is getting a bit wrinkled, but once I've done some stitching on there, I'm hoping that's going to flatten down. Those are needles. Oh, trying to craft with a cat. Craft with your cat is not something I would recommend. Right, so I'm going to... I'm going to come up again. That one? Oh no, I could go that way. This, this is, I think, going to be really nice. If I do say so myself. I know I'm a bit late putting this up, but I do apologise. But hopefully, hopefully, you'll still watch. I've got a few layers, plus trying to get wool through with a massive great big needle. 
but I'm getting there. It's not made too much mess. Oh, I made a mess at the bottom. Pull that through. I've still got my little hole. Oh, for goodness sake. What am I going to do with that? Well, we'll have to work on that. Yep, I will show you how I fix it. I don't know how yet, but I'm going to try and show you. I don't know quite what has occurred down here. I think I just caught my knot. Yeah, I did. So I'm just going to trap that bit off. I think it caught in my... It's here. Let me just tidy up a bit. There we go. So, there we go. We've got that bit. Right, how are we going to fix this? Now, let me think. If we just squash it into that corner. Right, I need to find some thread that's that colour. Yeah. So, no. See, you've got tapestry wool in here as well. Put that over there. That shouldn't be in here. Nope. All sorts of weird and wonderful colours. Now, that's not too bad. If I can't find anything else. You're not having it. Look at that. It's super cool, isn't it? Oh, I want to use that. But I'm going down. I'm doing this colour now. Now there's nothing else in there. Okay. That's all my ones that I haven't put on to. You know. The, the little rolls. This is going to be close enough anyway. So all I'm going to do to try and fix that mess I've made there. This is where you should have basted. Should have basted. Now I'm going to have to go and get ready for work in a minute. So I want to quickly do this. Yes, Snowbell, what do you want? What do you want? Oh, that, would, that one would do. Let me put the lid on because she seems to be attracted to all sorts of silly stuff today. I'm going to do just a couple of strands. Cut that very well. What oh, baby? What? You're very quiet. And what I think I can do is a lot of little if I did some little tiny seed stitches in there. Pull my knot straight through. If I did a few little seed stitches in this section, obviously then I'll have to do seed stitches in in the other bits because it'll look weird. What have I got coming through? Some thread from the other side. And then that will hopefully be able to push that. We'll see. We'll see if it works. Oh, little bits of thread are coming through everywhere. Now, it's there as well, isn't it? But let's concentrate on getting this, because if this works here, I'll do it on the other bit as well. Plus it gives you another element. I've done a flip upside down. Not that it makes any difference at the moment because nothing's actually on. Apart from a tree. My tree would look a bit weird that way up. Um, didn't really have a plan for this one. And I know I said I was going to plan better. And I will try and plan my next one. I oh, know, I could have planned while I was away, but I didn't do that either. So I have that down. And I will do some seed stitching on the others. Yes, baby, I know. What do you want? 
What do you want? Just finish that off. So I'll leave that with that needle on, ready to do the next bit. Now I need to find the colour for that one. Oh, this is, you know, get it flat in the first place. That's my suggestion. Or my other, my other way around this is get some more of this and go over the top of there. Ta-da! Ha! Sorted that one, didn't it? Use this. Which I think will work. So there you go, guys. A couple of ways to hide any little bumps that you've made in your fabrics. Without having to take it all off and do it again. Because let's face it, we don't want to be doing that. We do not want to be taking this off once we've sewn it all down. So lots of little seed stitches or couch over the top. I mean, depending on your style of block, obviously, because, you know, it might not work for some. Seed stitching will probably work on most, um, most projects. Couching may not work, but in this case, just... Adding another branch to my tree, which I was going to do anyway. I've just started it a bit lower down and I'm going to make it come sort of over there like that. What do you think? I think it'll work out and it's got rid of that. That's pretty flat now. Here maybe, but like I say, once I've put some more seed stitches in the red bits, we'll be good. We'll be good to go. And I don't think I'm going to put any leaves on my tree because, you know, it's supposed to be winter. And I don't think there'll be any leaves. So this is it so far, guys. I will be back for another video when I have finished this off, found a deer. And I've also got to make my tag. So <laughs> I've got quite a lot to do. So thank you so much for joining me. I do appreciate it. If you've enjoyed it, please give me a like. I will see you all for the next exciting instalment <laughs> of How Did My Tree Grow? Okay. So I'll be back. I'm going to finish just doing some more of that. I'm going to do some more seed stitches and maybe some embroidery on there like while I'm watching TV tonight when I come home from work and I'll be back for the next bit later on um, next week. Okay, thank you so much guys. Bye for now.